Hi, Constant Readers. My name is Emily. Welcome to my first sort of discussion video as part of the DT Project 17. Just a disclaimer. One, I am a first time reader of the series. I don't really have any foresight. Any predictions that I'm making are completely that predictions. So if I'm saying things that don't make sense to somebody who has read the whole series, that's why I am a first time reader. And this is my sort of recording of my anticipations and my expectations. My second disclaimer is that I am not interested in authorial intention. For me as an English major, we don't care about the author. The author is dead to us. At least in the Canadian Ontario undergrad and masters in English, we do not do biographical readings of text. The text stands alone. So for this project, to give my reading of the series some focus, I am specifically looking at how the Dark Tower series fits into the fantasy genre as a whole. That being said, here are my thoughts on The Gunslinger. General thoughts, I can definitely see why I didn't continue with the series as a kid. Not a lot happens. There are sort of three main events that I see happening in the story. Telling Brown about his adventure in Tull, meeting Jake and getting the Oracle's prophecy, and then the journey through the mountain and finally meeting the Man in Black. Really not a lot happens and for me, even as an adult reader, these things weren't all that interesting or compelling. I'm not really finding Roland an attractive protagonist. I don't super care about him at this point. Um, that may change as the series progresses. Like I said, this is my first time reading this. But at this point in time, I am not caring about the Roland that we see in The Gunslinger. I did, however, care about the Roland that we saw in The Little Sisters of Illyria. So when I read The Little Sisters of Illyria, I loved the story. I thought it was fascinating. I sympathized with Roland. I admired his strength as a character. And then... When we get to The Gunslinger, it's a very different Roland, and yes, I know that these were published at different times. I'm not a huge fan of the Roland that I'm seeing in The Gunslinger. So, because I know Little Sisters of Valeria was published later, I'm hopeful that Roland develops as a character and that I grow more attached to him as the series goes on. In my Child Roland video, which reflects on the history of Child Roland as a character in literature, links to that video in the description box down below. I made some predictions based on the literary past of Child Roland. I guess one of my predictions was that the fairy tale elements would come into play. And I feel like we do see that in The Gunslinger. So within fairy tales, we have the importance of the number three. Things always happen in threes in fairy tales. And so in the Child Roland fairy tale, we saw the three brothers going on the journey to the Dark Tower to save their sister. We saw the need to walk around the hill three times, chanting, open door, open door, and let me come in. So we see threes in the child role and fairy tale itself. In The Gunslinger, we also see the importance of three. There are three steps on the quest to meet the man in black. The succubus oracle tells the gunslinger that three is important to his fate, and that three is at the heart of his quest. And then the man in black's tarot cards reveal three characters. So my predictions about the gunslinger being sort of rooted in fairy tale tradition seem to be following through and I'm curious to follow that through into the next book, The Drawing of Three, which of course has three right there in the title. The next thing that I was vaguely looking at was the rooting in the fantasy genre. Fairy tales are part of the fantastic as a genre. Um, the fantasy genre as we think of it with like Tolkien and Lewis, that's taken the genre in a very specific direction. And so I wanted to see which fantasy elements sort of showed up in The Gunslinger. And so for that, I'm gonna draw on two types of fantasy as defined by Farrah Mendelssohn in the rhetorics of fantasy. There are a couple of different types of fantasy literature, but the two that I'm seeing in this text are the immersive fantasy and the portal quest. I am gonna briefly read the definition here. So in immersive fantasy, functions on all levels as a complete world. It assumes that the reader is as much a part of the world as are those being read about. It's a reality of the fantastic. So in contrast, in a portal quest fantasy, the character leaves behind her familiar surroundings and passes through the portal into an unknown place. This portal fantasy is more common in children's literature. Think Narnia and The Wizard of Oz. I'm seeing The Dark Tower play with these two types of fantasy literature. With Roland, it's immersive. Roland thinks Jake's description of our contemporary world is just insane. So we see Roland's world, which appears fantastic to us. His reality is steeped in the fantastic. So we have Roland existing in an immersive fantasy. And when we're with Roland, 
we're thrown into that immersive fantasy as well. But it seems fairly clear to me that Jake has moved through a portal. Similar to the fairy tale Child Roland, where Roland moves between worlds, it seems that Jake has done something similar. Which is interesting to me because the portal quest fantasy is typical of children's literature and our only child character appears to have moved through a portal. It's interesting for Jake, having perhaps come through a portal, exploring Roland's immersive fantasy world as this outsider, remembering that life wasn't always like this, that there were things like cars and buses. But again, Jake is not our narrative perspective, at least not at this point. I was flipping through one of the other books, I think it's the third book, and it looks like Jake has a perspective, like Jake has some time set aside for him. So I'm curious to see where the series goes, if Jake's in some sort of flashback, if Jake didn't die. I don't know, but it's interesting to me that we're seeing two different types of fantasy literature in the Dark Tower series. The Dark Tower series seems to be setting down roots in the fantasy genre, but then at the same time, that post-apocalyptic feel, it has a, a flair of like life after disaster, like in The Stand by Stephen King. But whereas The Stand was more rooted in reality, we have a fantastical version of life post-apocalypse in The Stand. Mendelssohn actually describes the Dark Tower series as, quote, an Arthurian quest fantasy with psychological horror, all set in a feudal American West. And that's from the short history of fantasy. I will leave citations for these books in the description box down below. So the setting for me is interesting in the ways in which it either engages with or subverts fantasy tropes. So the next thing that I would like to talk about is heroism. Is Roland really a hero? He's certainly our protagonist, but I wouldn't say that he's a good character. Especially not in that dichotomous good versus evil that fantasy likes to set up for us. Like in The Lord of the Rings, we have a very clear separation between good and evil, and there's really no question. But for me, Roland definitely appears to be in sort of a gray space. As our protagonist, we almost expect him to be wholly good in the way that fantasy heroes often are, but his actions don't really support that. That's my question for you. Like, what do you think of Roland as a character? Is he a hero? At least, is he a hero as he's presented in The Gunslinger? I'm curious to see where the series goes. Um, I definitely wouldn't keep reading by myself. What is fun for me right now is the more lit crit aspects, the making connections, the analysis, the extensive notes, and the research. Not so much the story itself. The story in The Gunslinger was not super compelling. So I'm curious to see where the series goes. I know you guys have said that it gets better, so i am I'm got my fingers crossed. I've got my fingers crossed that this gets better and that I grow to love the series as much as I know a lot of you guys do. In the meantime, connect with me on social media. Tag your pictures on Instagram with the hashtag DTProject17. I've really enjoyed looking at the things that you guys are up to. There is a Goodreads group for discussion if you are interested. I will leave a link to that down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Happy reading, and I will see you soon. Bye.